so cute. Good afternoon, we're so happy you're here. We're on a serious Trolls World tour kick. Um, and it's so funny to see Jamesy like sing and dance and just like request it. It's just like fun, it's just fun. It's been a weird day, it's already four o'clock. Just picking up the camera. Um, but yeah, soon Peter will be done with work. Teddy is actually still napping. Um, and I think this just goes to show like going out last night, like we're, <laughs> we always say the, we always quote um, Toby Keith, um, his song. I ain't as good as I once was because <laughs> we just like need a recovery day on days that we go out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna stay home tonight. We have a little bit of just like, you know, typical catch up stuff to do, but we're vlogging. So get ready for another home vlog. Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We're vlogging right now. We're an awesome American Cancer Society fundraiser. So today will be an interesting vlog because it is 7.52 p.m. and I am introing the vlog. Uh, clearly had a very busy and wild day between kids and work and life and everything that we have going on in between all those things. So we're going to see how the vlog goes, but um, we're getting it started now. We've already eaten dinner, the kids are playing, Sarah's actually finishing the vlog that's going up today right now. Um, just to go you, sh to show you as an example how crazy today has been. So I have um, the kids are playing with toys. So I put on like an aquarium. And I'll just show you. Realism house right there. All the toys and and anarchy. More toys and anarchy. Um, put this on. It's like fish, but it's like the soundtrack to the Nemo movie. So it's like calm, but still having a little bit of stimulation on there. Um, and I'm gonna try to sneak around and get some dishes done and put some of these toys away while they're playing contently over there. Where are my southerners at with the Publix Bogos always get you? Because that's what happened today. I ran over to Publix just to grab like two things and I had to get me some BOGO deals because they were incredible. And this is my reminder to myself from Sarah that I need this drop that's supposed to be hung up there, but I need to put that carrot back up there. Dance, 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 dance. There you are. This is what never could be done before. Let's just have my babies chilling with me on the couch. While we watch some bluey. Hoping to keep the place moderately put together before bedtime. That's the uh, the evening, typical evening struggle. Trying to keep the place moderately organized while keeping the kids entertained, while making sure you're being productive, but also present, but also joyous, and also just stress sometimes. But that that's what we signed up for in the best way. So, while I have these two squibs chilling on my lap, I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak this up. Why not have a second wind of dinner? crazy day. I also opened up the vlog, I don't know if I told you, at 7, 7.52 p.m. Um, it is now 11.10. What has transpired? The kids are asleep. Um, I am now in my running outfit. Um, kind of feeling a little bit like 2018, 2019, some of these nights where I'm like, okay, I have to go out and it's after 11, but I have to get my run in before midnight to hit my keep my streak going. Um, so it's looking like, depending on how I feel and how humid it is out there, because it did rain this afternoon, I'm gonna be going for um, three, I might do two. I told myself like a couple days ago I would not do one mile runs anymore. 
but it's been a bit of a day, so I might do a two mile run, but I am hoping to get there and I have the gumption just to do that third mile, so. Uh, but I do have to do some schoolwork tonight too. Tis life right now. Well, it looks like Mother Nature has made the decision for me. It is starting to rain and I don't have a treadmill. So looks like I'm not gonna break. I'm on day like 88 or 89. I'm not gonna let this running streak end because of some rain. So it looks like I'm gonna run in the rain and do two miles. Time to go. Peter just texted me that it's raining. So hopefully it won't be too bad of a run for him. But I finished cleaning up like the little bit of toys that were still out. He did such a good job like keeping things together while I was upstairs um, finishing the vlog and he was like just wrapping up the day really. Um, so there wasn't too much. But I've just been seeing these reels of like the sweet like days worth of toys or the mess um, that you know kids make and how like switching your perspective to just like see how special those like just like their presence in your home is and something that we have never taken for granted but you know it it is a lot of work so there is that you know that element at the end of the night to close up downstairs you know it, it is so special for caregivers to have that perspective for their littles at the end of the day but we have that that little element of infertility of that unknown if that would ever be our reality and um winding down at the end of the night and doing that it is always just you know good to to remind yourself that of how special it is and how fortunate we are and how grateful we are for that mess and the little bites in that pb and j sandwich left over that i ended up you know munching on um so yeah just special thought that i had you know it's easy to be like you know for us to kind of just be like we can't vlog anymore um but i think today was like the perfect example of just time is so so fleeting and me and Peter joke like once he's done with work it's like we eat dinner and then before you know it it's you know bath time and we're getting everyone ready for bed and we do the bedtime routine and Peter's got to run in school and then it's so it's like basically it's like three o'clock and we're already like it's bedtime so time is just so fleeting but also time is just so so valuable one of our one of our favorite movies about time um says exactly that and you know so much of the vlog is this extraordinary ordinary and just today in general um i don't know i just i feel like it's something that is on is on my heart and i think it's so you know when we do stuff like this where we are vlogging for our cause um, because you have so generously donated to the American Cancer Society um, and we're here for that it's just like it's so interesting how this is always an interaction this is always something about vlogging that is filling our cups or teaching us something um, or just making us reflect when we hope that us putting it out there you are enjoying it even though I know like Days like today are really like a lot of talking heads and um, maybe not as entertaining as vlogging an event or a theme park. But um, yeah, just just always have loved the duality of the vlog and appreciate that and hope you guys know that we we do. We value this. We value being able to pick up the camera. Not only is weather working against me. So it was my stomach, so we got it two miles in. We won't make it to a third tonight, but the running streak continues. All right, run is over. Gonna get freshened up and then do a little bit of homework. Uh, we have a group project due next Tuesday for my 
business analytics class. Um, and I gotta do some research on that and get ready for my midterm for that class on Saturday. Woo. Fun to think about what a crazy late night felt like in 2018 and the things were attached to it, like going to a park until close, getting out of the park at like 10.30, and then going to a movie at Disney Springs at 11.30 to get out at two to come home and then be so amped because it's so late that you don't fall asleep right away. So you fall asleep until like three, whereas like now it's like, okay, is it bath night tonight? Yes or no? Clean up the toys, check. Get the kids to bed, check. Do the dishes, check. Lock the place down, check. Oh, haven't gone on a run yet, go on a run, check. Oh, decided to do an MBA, online MBA, with two little little, little kids and a third one coming. Um, sure, gotta do that homework. And then, you know, do things like these fun fundraisers that are like, oh, now we're gonna kick back the vlog and see if we can keep that in as a trial test to these crazy times, but at a minimum do 10 to 13 days of it um, to fundraise for a great cause and to finish out an amazing run Disney season of the most fundraising the Brookhearts have ever done. So all different world, same exhaustion, but different world and it's amazing. This, can't, this, this laptop is making me very blue. <laughs> I don't know if the blackout curtains helped or hurt us last night. We'll find out. <laughs> Only time will tell. I know, we can't take it by just one night with James E. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, James has been waking up and we've got blackout curtains to kind of help with the shadows. But again, if you have suggestions, we've heard good things about a hatch, mm -hmm. maybe a nightlight. I like the hatch idea. Yeah. yeah. There are also clocks and colors and sounds. Then we can get that that Amazon Echo out of there because it's the nice one. Yeah, the downstairs true. with the base. That's true. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Like we used to say, like, you don't want to know what time it is. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>